Your girl needs some hydration in her lotion. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaki, and today we are going to be doing a very informative roundup of my latest empties. Now this is not going to be one of those like, I saved my beauty trash up for a year. Like those get really, really long and crazy. I basically just have a roundup of maybe the last three or four months of my empties, and I'm going to share them with you guys, my thoughts on them, because you know, we do a lot of like hauls and first impressions on my channel, but I don't tend to get to like tell you guys whether I in the long run was like really impressed with something or whether I kind of thought it wasn't that cool after all. I think this is a really good opportunity to kind of share those thoughts with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first we have a little wad. It's just a little wad at this point. This is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin and it actually comes with this really cool little key that helps you kind of get the most out of the bottle. I have been scraping the inside of this to get the last out of it. This is an absolutely delightful product. If you're the kind of person who gets really dry skin in the winter and you need something stronger than a regular moisturizer, or you tend to want to just let your skin like drink it up every once in a while, maybe under your eyes or in spots where you tend to get kind of crepey. And as you get older, those spots tend to become more frequent. This is part of a much larger line and I've only used this and maybe one other sample that I got in a birch box that I haven't really had the need to use since it's been summertime. While I was running out of my other Glossier moisturizer, I went back to using this briefly and there's just nothing to really describe how nourishing it feels going on your skin. It has a really interesting scent. It's very like herbal. It smells like the ingredients. It doesn't have, I don't think, like a fragrance a per se. So it doesn't have any like added perfume to it, but it's got this really, really delightful kind of like herbaceous medicinal smell to it. And you can kind of feel it like tingle as you put it on. And it's got a little bit of like a tea tree or like a minty feeling to it. And it's just absolutely delightful. So if you are one of those people who needs kind of like a little extra love for your skin when it comes to uh, a moisturizer after cleansing and before you go to bed and stuff, this is definitely awesome. And I will be repurchasing probably closer to when it gets colder outside. The next is a very sad little friend here. Oh no, I don't even wanna like turn it up because it's gonna all pour out. I have been actually still to this day trying to use this in its current form. And it is really difficult because it just goes everywhere. I have gotten so much of this blush all over clothes and sinks and rugs and things like that because I'm trying desperately to make the most of what's left in here. And it is the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. It is something that when I first got it, I was like, mm, I may, I may have to take this back. This doesn't really, this isn't what I was thinking it was gonna be because it's very pink and it is definitely still a bronzer. It's, it's interesting because most of us think I need to contour and I need to put on blush. For me, day to day, I don't know. Maybe I'm spoiled with great cheekbones. I'd like to think so, but I don't really contour all that much. I tend to highlight, I like to do that. I really like to, we, we used to call it strobing in my day. I don't really feel the need every single morning to chisel my face and go to all that trouble. So, plus I'm not that great at it, let's be honest. I actually really ended up liking this product and today I ended up buying a new one. I ended up having to go to Ulta Ulta didn't have it and then I had to go to Sephora. Like that's how much I decided that I needed this product because I used it today and I was like, I love this. I like was kind of also afraid of it because I was like, oh, it's got so much sheen to it. And as you get older, like you don't wanna use stuff with too much sheen, but I like sheen on my cheeks. I think it looks nice. This is not a glitter sheen. This is just a really nice kind of glowy highlighty sheen and I like it very much. So yes, I have already repurchased. <laughs> today. Another cheek product is this <laughs> holy grail item that everybody loves. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush and your girl has seen her better days. I hit pan on this a while ago and I kept on keeping on and then I bought Torrid hoping that I could use less of Torrid because I burned through this so quickly. Torrid's fine but nothing replaces orgasm but orgasm, and so I ended up buying orgasm again. So yes, I have already repurchased this, and I also have Torrid, and they're actually very similar, but they complement each other really nicely. So I think that, you know, you can get a really good effect if you use the orgasm all over the cheeks, and then you do a kind of like Charlotte Tilbury trick of just kind of the pop with the Torrid. 
and it works really nicely. But yeah, I have already repurchased that. It is kind of a mainstay in my life. All right, next is something that I had really high expectations for, and I'm gonna turn it around to the camera. This is the Glossier Super Pure Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. It's supposed to help with acne, and it's supposed to purify your skin. And I said in my last video, I really appreciate all of Glossier's products. I think that they were all made with a great sense of intent. I don't think there's anything that's just filler in their line, but I do like some products more than I like others. For example, the Generation G Lip doesn't really do it for me because I like gloss, but then they make gloss, so that's cool too, and some people don't like gloss. I digress. This didn't really cut it for me. I think that this is something that works really well for people who just get the occasional kind of like one-off zit and they're not pickers or anything like that. And it's just kind of like really good and calming for people who probably have like less hormonal skin and more just kind of like the occasional, oh, I slept in my makeup or whatever. You know, it's just a very like environmental acne thing. This doesn't really solve things from the source to me. It is just kind of a calming serum and it's not even really a serum. It's like, a, it's very watery. I might have had unrealistic expectations, but it just didn't do enough for me to justify repurchasing it. I will probably use the last little bit that's in here, but like, I don't know. It, it's fine. I don't know. I prefer my retinol. Okay, next. This is weird because this is not empty because I threw out the empty when I moved, but this is just to show you that I have so much backup. This is <laughs> Bath and Body Works body cream in Vanilla Bean Noel, which is yes, you are correct, a Christmas fragrance. I have had it since just after Christmas. My, my friend and I, we descend on the after Christmas sales at Bath & Body Works so hard, and we stock up on this and only this. I can't explain it. It's just the greatest smell in the world. I'm gonna explain the smell. I can't explain the addiction. I will explain the smell. You know when you are making white chocolate covered pretzels and you melt, the white chocolate, or it's called almond bark, but it's just that, you know, the white chocolate that you buy in the big blocks and you just melt them down and then you dip pretzels in there and then just like black out and eat all of them. That's what I do. I love that smell. It's one of the most appetizing smells in the world and that is exactly what this smells like. Exactly, like on point, like on the nose, like exactly what it smells like. So when you put this on, and it warms to your body and let's say you're wearing like PJ pants or something like that or like you're in the covers, it just like creates this little oven of the greatest smells in the world. And so I can't live without it. I think I've gone through three so far this year. This is number four and I still have one more left and this one's actually full. So that should tide me over till fall when I can start buying the fall fragrances and then buy more Vanilla Bean Noel. <laughs> I have a system. So this is a lotion that didn't really perform like I had hoped. You guys might remember a couple of favorites ago, I had a sample of a body scrub that I had gotten in my birch box and I was obsessed with the fragrance. Like I couldn't really like care one way or the other about the fact that it was a body scrub. Body scrubs are a dime a dozen. I was not about to pay a pretty penny for a body scrub, but I decided I was like, okay, well I'll get the lotion because like that's a better use of my money and it's something that I can actually like cover my body with and then leave it on my body instead of rinsing it down the drain, which is just sad. So I bought the Toka Bianca body lotion. This is the nine ounce. I got this just, you know, on Amazon or something like that. Maybe, maybe somewhere else. I can't remember, I just ordered online. And the scent is dynamite. I love it. It's kind of a green, yeah, green tea and lemon. So it has almost like an, like an iced tea and lemon kind of thing, but not as like deep and dark and kind of like tannic. It's just a much lighter smell. I, I love the fragrance. I love it, love it, love it so much. But A, the fragrance doesn't stick around and B, the lotion doesn't really do much. Your girl needs some hydration in her lotion. This cuts it way harder. This is so much better. And this is just like, I mean, yes, this is a body cream and this is just a body lotion. And I know that there's a difference in that kind of formulation, but this just doesn't really like, what's the point, you know? like. I think that actually the solution to this is I'm just gonna buy the perfume. <laughs> that makes more sense because I just really like the scent and I don't have time for this. This is a very stupid lotion. If I'm being honest, <laughs> will not repurchase. <laughs> All right, and finally, this was actually in a favorites pretty recently and I've already burned through it because I'm obsessed and also because, oh my God, it's so hot. 
I end up showering at least twice a day. Like, no joke. And I work from home. Like, I don't even get out that much. Well, this month I work from home. I don't usually work from home. Long story short, I have been showering a lot and I have been using this a lot. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Daily Condition Er. Daily conditioner. I got to reading something else and got distracted. That happened to me today in line at Sephora. She was like, you can take your card out. And I was like, oh, sorry. I was looking at that girl's shirt. I love this. It has made my hair actually really long because it's not breaking as much. Although your girl needs a haircut. If you didn't watch my favorites, the claims on this are that it detangles, imparts incredible softness, which it does, reduces frizz, even though I don't really have frizz issues. Build up free, which is awesome. Like that's the biggest thing is so many of these really nourishing conditioners. I'm gonna go full hairdresser on you right now. A lot of the really nourishing conditioners that you get at the grocery store. So like your Pantene's of the world, your Dove's. They make your hair feel super duper soft on the way out of the shower. Though over time, you'll start to notice that your hair starts to feel kind of heavy and gummy and like it's not getting as clean. And that's because, and this is just in my experience, they may have adjusted their formula since I was in the actual business or had actually tried their products. But most of the time, because of the low price point, they are using inexpensive emollients. A lot of times they are using things like silicone and beeswax, things that basically aren't water soluble. And so when they get on your hair, yes, they make it feel really soft, but over time they build up, they really just suffocate your hair. Your hair dries up inside of it and it'll make your hair break off or it'll make it kind of irreparable where you have to actually cut it off. I, worst case scenario, had to cut like six inches off of a girl's hair one time because she had used Pantene for so long that like the whole bottom of her hair right here, and her hair was gorgeous, it was so thick, but the whole bottom was just clumpy. Like you couldn't get the hair to like just be individual hairs. It's just every time the comb got there, it just caught. And it was just, it wasn't like it was tangled. It was just that it was like mucked together. So the non buildup is a, actually a really huge detail. Like it's why you pay for what you pay for. Preserves hair color, UV protection, hydrates hair and scalp, restores shine, infuses strength and vitality, and it's a thermal styling protectant, which I really need in my life. As far as things that you're going to invest in for your hair care, you know, you can pay a lot of money for things like Orbe if that's within your budget, but there are a lot of things that you can kind of get away with and get more out of your buck. And this is not a cheap product by any means, but it is not an Orbe price point. And I think that this is something that a lot of people could really benefit from. You might notice that you have like a completely different head of hair. So yes, I have repurchased this. I will continue to repurchase this. I enjoy this very much. All right, guys. So I think that that's it. That's all I, I have today for my, my empties. But I mean, that's not all of my empties. I just don't want to bore you with a bunch of really dumb crap that is like, you know, it's empty, but I don't have anything interesting to say about it. So that's what I'll leave you with. And let me know in the comments below, you guys, other things that you think in the interest of this stuff that I should definitely try because I'm always open to your suggestions. I'm only one girl. I only have two eyes. I can only be exposed to so much. So let me, let me leverage your experience and what you guys are seeing and tell me what you want me to try and I will do it. I've got some really exciting stuff coming up. I've been waiting on a lot of stuff to come in the mail lately, but it's coming. And I think that we're going to have some really cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep hanging out with me, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe. I'd love it if you did. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys taking the time to put your eyeballs on my stupid face. And as always, I love you and I'll talk to you as soon as possible. Bye.